The battle to flatten the curve rages on from grocery store to checkout lines to hospitals. So many people wondering when we might start see some results from the stay home order and social distancing, but here's where things stand at this hour. Michigan's numbers taking another tragic rise with nearly 2,300 cases and 43 deaths reported. Two hospitals in the Henry Ford Health System, Detroit and West Bloomfield, say they have now reached capacity. Detroit will begin offering drive up testing by appointment only this Friday. We've posted information on how to go about that on our website at clickondetroit.com. Also to note the annual Mackinac Policy Conference, which usually takes place in May, has now been moved to August. So how long will this last? That is the question that we, we all ask ourselves and we keep asking each other. That's right. To get some perspective here, we turn to a world-renowned expert who also happens to be a professor and researcher at the University of Michigan Public School of Health. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with more on that. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin. So Dr. Arnold Monto has advised the World Health Organization and the Department of Defense on numerous outbreaks during his lengthy career. He was in Beijing during the SARS pandemic, and he says there are many things that we can learn from past outbreaks. We have the experience of the first cousin of this virus, the virus that caused SARS back in 2003, and they had no vaccine. They had no antivirals, and they controlled it by social distancing. Dr. Monto cautions against making predictions. I think making predictions long term is probably going to be wrong and will certainly not help us in trying to figure out what we should do short term. We have to reassess where we are on a regular basis and not make predictions of where we b will be even in two to three weeks. I think we are going to have to tailor this to what goes on in our local areas. The unfortunate thing is we've had to respond by extreme measures. He says because none of us have any immunity to this new virus, there is no quick fix. Learn about what is going on so you have a realistic view of what is going to happen. I think we will come out of this better in some ways, but what is very clear is that we're going to come out of this different. Our greatest weapon in this fight, patience. The best thing we can do is to realize that there will be an end. Yeah, so, you know, Dr. Monto says back in 2003, the experts all said that SARS was going to be with us forever and they were all wrong. He's not saying that this will necessarily happen with COVID-19, but he says it's really one more example of why we shouldn't focus on a specific time frame because we just don't know yet. Unfortunately, we're still yeah. dealing with how much we don't know exactly right.